lovelies. So I was, I need to put my teeth in. I just can't do this without my teeth. Feels too weird talking to you guys like this. I was just saying it looks like I have like a costume. Anywho. So I was thinking about the kind of like ebb and flow of feeling really crummy and really sick and kind of feeling okay and then for some people feeling really good. I don't really ever get that like feel really good very often maybe like twice a year I'll have a day where I'm like maybe once a year <laughs> but there are times that I'm not like miserable usually it's a time of day like this evening I don't feel miserable but I got to thinking and when I have okay okay because like what I want to try to explain or express has to do a lot with where you are mentally and like my depression is pretty under control I don't I'm gonna like knock on wood when I say that but for me my depression is pretty under control I took Lexapro every day for it um, and I'm doing pretty well right now I'm in a happy state I have really great supportive friends you lie la la but so this doesn't really pertain to when I'm depressed or when I've had those times because I'm just gonna be frank I didn't have any hope then but there's this weird thing that happens and I don't know if it's just fibro or like diseases that are like fibro but there's this like endless hope like I don't know like tonight like I'm getting excited like maybe tomorrow I'll feel good and then like I can call Leanne and we can like get together and go to Panera and then come here to my house and like videotape exchanging gifts and like when I'm not depressed I still have this like eternal hope and I've been sick long enough that like you think I wouldn't get my hopes up because it is a letdown like the next day like a couple days ago Leanna was like you know I was like well let me text you and let you know how I feel tomorrow maybe we can get together she was so sweet she was like I don't want to put any pressure on you or anything like that and um and I was like so hopeful but when I woke up that next day I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get out of bed and it like really made me sad like I just like text her and I was like I feel miserable I couldn't even like FaceTime with Linz and like <sighs> you just think that like I just go with the flow at some point <laughs> like I but at the same time maybe like that's what keeps me going and that's what you guys like so much about me like you guys are always saying like I inspire you and um I'm so positive and I don't think of myself that way like I think of myself as a very negative person so but maybe that's what it is maybe it's that like hope that like pushes me like I really still every day if I'm feeling a little bit better I still think maybe I'll get like a week where I feel like this or like a day where I feel like this and it like at it hasn't really happened in the past years that I've been ill so I don't know where I got that from I mean I think that it's good to have hope but it's just kind of a funny fickle thing because it kind of works against you a lot too because it's like almost like pretending I'm not sick like maybe just like one day I'm just gonna like stop being sick and, um, and like, I do truly feel like that could be something that could happen, like a miracle. Um, but I think I would know about it and, like, know I was experiencing it. So when I get these, like, ups and then I get so disappointed, it's like, why do I do that to myself? I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Like, maybe this is just something I do. But I also have learned the hard way that... And I really wanted to say this because I feel like someone needs to hear it. That if you're having a good day, you don't have to go out and run every errand. You don't have to like 
see every person that you feel like you've neglected or like do all these things out of guilt and like necessity and I feel like if so, there are some days that if you're feeling well stay in your pajamas that day hang out watch your favorite shows eat chocolate I don't eat chocolate but most people do and just like have a nice day because it's like you know we think because we're we, we do that every other day that when we are feeling well we have to like be a normal person and and I think that's the way other people view us too and it's like I have good days where like I want to just be in my pajamas and watch my favorite shows because I'm usually miserable when I'm doing that I want to do it when I'm happy and like feeling okay and can actually enjoy that experience and like relax you know like when I'm in bed all day when I'm sick I'm not relaxing I am sick you know like when you get the flu you're not just like chillaxing in your bed for a week you're like hibernating because you feel awful so it's not the same when you have a day off and you sit on your couch and eat popcorn and watch movies or watch Netflix all day. That's not the same as when you have the flu. So I think it's, I don't know where, where that hype, everything comes together. Like, is that hope a good thing? Maybe I should work on maybe having more realistic hope. Um, maybe you guys should let yourself relax sometimes and you know cuz I know I felt guilty for a really long time like if I was having a good day like if I didn't hang out with my friends or if I didn't get out of bed or you know things like that but but the funny thing is is that um, after this whole mouth surgery thing and everything I if I am feeling even like for five minutes feeling like I'm not gonna throw up or dizzy or bladders irritated or you know like the 500 million symptoms that fibro people have if I do have those moments I take a shower because <laughs> the okay so I had taken a shower really late it was like Saturday morning because I was going out to dinner with my friends that night so then I didn't take a shower Sunday, which is normal for me, not, you know, to skip a day or two. And then I thought, I'm going to be in the car all day, so who cares? Like, I packed that whole Sunday night till 2 a.m., and then we left. So I didn't shower since sad really early Saturday morning. And I didn't, couldn't take a shower because I was so ill. For like a week and as a hairdresser I don't even know where I'm looking I keep looking at my two owls over here like I'm talking to them it's so freaking weird I'm gonna show them to you even though my room is a complete mess but I'm gonna show you what I've been looking at those two owls there that's who I've been talking to I'm not even like looking into the lens <laughs> what the heck that was so weird anyways wow all over the place so I didn't take a shower and for a hairdresser the smell of dirty hair is just something you will never forget you have those clients that know they're just not gonna wash their hair for like three days before they come in and you take that ponytail out and there is just it's such a distinct universal smell like every person has the same dirty hair smell and it has to be like days that you don't wash your hair and so when I was ill that smell was just like all I could smell and of course it's like all of my pillows and like everything and I was throwing up and everything was making me so sick and so now I'm like spastic about washing my hair like any second that I can because like usually I'd be like oh, I'm just gonna save my spoons and like not now I'm like if I have a spoon I'm going to take a shower and wash my hair it doesn't matter about anything else but I'm gonna wash my hair because it's made me so paranoid because I'm like I could get sick tomorrow and not be able to wash my hair for three days and I don't want to smell that smell ever again sometimes like 
your hair your hair dryer if it's like really old sometimes it can have that like smell a little bit if you don't really if you don't know what that dirty hair smell is um but yeah it's just, it's, that's just like really funny that I like that was like the tra most like one of the most traumatizing things about that whole thing is that now I like wash my hair like a crazy person <sighs> Anyways, what else can I rant to? Do you see how I'm talking to the freaking owls over there? That time I was looking at the other owl next to the chihuahua. I don't know what's going on with me, guys. Um, what else do, can I chit-chat with you guys about? Because I haven't had enough energy lately to chit-chat with you guys. And I know you guys love these videos. I don't know why. I think it's because I like watching these videos, too. And I think it's because... They're long, and it's kind of like watching an episode of TV. You kind of just, like, take your mind off things, and you can connect with another person. And I don't know, I make you guys laugh sometimes, which really makes me happy. <laughs> because I, I, I like that my weirdness is appreciated by at least some people. Um, Jen, I got your card. Here it is right here. It's really cute, so I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, I got... Um, this card here from Jen. It's Santa. Isn't that so adorable? And I got this card here, which is so funny because they like remind me so much of each other. But I got this one here from Jules, like from Julie. Um, 209 Serenity. And this is Jennifer Herrera. Jen H. Jennifer H. On YouTube. So I thought that was really kind of cute that they were so similar. I was like, dang, my YouTube friends really have the same taste, and they have such such sweet messages in them. So I was really excited because I love cards more than like anything. So my friends keep saying like, oh, I'm waiting to send you a, a package, and I'm like, just send me a card with like something written in it. Um, that I yeah, I like something written in it because I just it just makes my whole day. I just love it. Um, so I'm always like, don't send me gifts. Like, don't per buy anything. Go to Target and get, like, a cute card and send it to me. That makes me so happy. Um, you guys will never know, like, just how happy that makes me. But um, I'm a little bit worried about Leanne adding presents to my presents. Now I feel like my presents aren't going to be enough. <laughs> but... Then again, like, I get a little bit selfish because I think that she might have gotten me some Lush things. And if she did, no pressure because I feel like if she didn't, she's going to, like, run and get me stuff. But I think that, like, my favorite present from Christmas was from my sister, Crystal, getting me the Lush products. Like, I really, they are so cool. Like, there's so much hype on YouTube that I just was, like... I either thought they were like sponsored or it was just some sort of like thing that everyone was into but and then they did smell really good so I was like well maybe they you know that part is good but then when I took my first bath with it I was like holy crap like I shaved my legs without shaving cream that's how like moisturizing the bath was like it was crazy so, um, I kind of have a feeling that that's what it is because I've like really been thinking about it <laughs> because she had it in a bag and she had it like stuffed with like tissue paper. So I think it was to like make sure that it didn't get damaged. I've really been like putting this to work about this package because I'm so excited. Um, cause it's really hard because our mall, I really want to go to the mall with Leanne which has the Lush in it. And I do want to actually go in there and get some things that I think that I would really like, like the teeth cleaning things. I think I would love those. Um, and shampoo, like a shampoo bar. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Um, and then I want to get another one of those bears because it, um, what was it? Who was it? Jules, I think, told me that they sell them year-round. Or maybe Diane and I forget. One of you guys told me that um, they sell that fragrance, not the bear, but like that butter ball or butter cake or something all year, which I really love that one. So I definitely want to get it again. But um, yeah, so I'm like, she keeps saying she's going to add stuff to it. And I'm like, just duct tape it. Like stop adding stuff to it because I know we're going to videotape it and people are going to be like, you suck. She got to use such better stuff. <laughs> Um, 
but I think I'm going to add some stuff. Um, well, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, I just like, I want to have like peace in my life right now. You know, I know that this surgery is coming up. I have to schedule the surgery and I have to be put asleep again. And then I have to go recover again, which could send me into flares. And it's also really weird when you go through an experience that's so awful that like, you know, I don't know if I can really explain it, but like, because I was thinking about it today and I was like, what did it feel like when I was really that ill? And I can't remember it. And I was like thinking about how like people that have babies, they say it's like the worst pain ever, but then they get pregnant again and like kind of forget what that pain is like. And you know, like I catch myself all the time now with like flares, like waking up, like I just got hit by a bus and then like beep, 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 like run over backwards and then forwards and then backwards and then forwards. And then I'm like, don't complain, Emily, because at least it wasn't like that experience. But then I'm like, I don't really remember what that experience was like. I just remember what's going on with me right now. And right now, I'm in a lot of pain, and it sucks. And I know that, like, that experience was up here, like, going to the hospital. Like, my family does not do that. I don't do that. Um, and then my, like, regular fiber pain is, like, down here. But that's what I was trying to explain in that one video where I was talking about different per people's experiences like you know people say to me all the time like you know I have like pain in my knee but it's like nothing like you you have and I'm like but it is like that's what you experience and that's what you know as like the worst thing that's going on right now and like that's really all we have is like how we're feeling at that moment because I remember just like begging God and like pleading with him like I'd never complain ever again about like my fibro pain because this was just like so crazy sick you know but then you know you go back to your life and it's chronic pain and chronic illness and I just it just goes back to you know I feel crappy today like I woke up and I had anxiety dreams all night and I woke up and I was in so much pain that like I just didn't want to wake up like I just I mean I couldn't sleep still but I just wanted to like the day not to begin because I was in so much pain and that you know I can't beat myself up for feeling like that sucks you know so I don't know there's just a lot of thoughts going on I have like a piercing thing in my head too and I don't it's not something I really experience that often so I don't know, like, should I take Tylenol? Like, I mean, it doesn't hurt, like, all the time. Like, it's not, like, a headache. What the heck is it? So, I don't know. It just, it's so interesting to me to navigate the symptoms. Like, what's actually a symptom? I mean, you know, like, I talk to my fibro friends and it's, like, so confusing because, like, am I getting a cold? am I getting the flu or like am I just having a flare you know like it's so confusing like for other people it's like I feel really crummy today I must be getting sick and that's like for us it's like well today feels it's really crappy which is normal and then like a little bit more crappy so like maybe I might be getting sick or maybe I'm just flaring or maybe I'm just having a crappy day or maybe I'm getting a migraine or whatever you know and, um, <clears throat> it's hard to, like, explain to people when you do get sick that, like, like, take your sick and multiply it by two. Because, like, I'm dealing with chronic pain and chronic illness and also being sick, like, on top of each other. So, like, I'm doubly sick. And that's hard for people to understand, too, like when my friends get colds they have them for like three days you know and they take their emergency and they get better but for me if I get a cold I'm down for like at least two weeks and you know my friends understand that but um I don't think or I wouldn't expect that they would understand that when they first met me you know like why would you have a cold for so long like why would you have to be in bed for you know two weeks from a cold it's just like it's so weird but 
<laughs> I've just been telling everybody because I feel like everybody's getting sick right now. And I'm like, I seriously think that, like, we should wear face masks more. Like, when I went through this whole experience, I thought about wearing a face mask a lot because it, I was so miserable and so sick. And usually when I go to, like, the dentist or a doctor's office, I'll pick up something because of our compromised immune systems. Um, so I really thought about, like, wearing that over my face. And then I thought about it, and I'm like, why don't I do that more often? Like, when my parents both had the cold, I, like, quarantined myself in my room. Like, the only time I, like, ever saw my mom is, like, if she made me food. And I, like, grabbed it from her. And I was like, you washed your hands and didn't touch anything, right? Because I was just, like, so deathly afraid I was going to get sick. Um, and I've just been telling everybody that I talked to that's sick, I'm like, you should wear one of those masks around, like, everybody so you don't get sick. Um, it just should be a normal thing that we should wear. And, like, if we get sick to wear so that, like, other people in our household don't get sick. Because you're not going to be able to, like, cover your mouth and germs and, I don't know, that could be my OCD part of me. I don't know. Um, I wanted to show you guys my picture that I drew, but I don't know what I did with it. It might have, like, flown off over there, but I didn't use my Sharpie. But Diana was right, I need to get colored pencils because, um, although I, the Sharpies work perfectly fine because I have the fine point ones, so I could really get, like, small. The color, it just wasn't, like, the leaves, like, I used two different greens, and they just turned out to be too close to one another. So, um, I think I'm going to have to get colored pencils so that it's, because it's really fun to do lots of different colors and, like, have really different colors next to each other and things like that, so... I think I'm going to order that and I think I'm going to get because I've been using this which is actually like part of a makeup bag that my friend Alicia got me for um, Christmas or gave me for Christmas and um, so I think I'm going to get like a case for I guess I'll have to get two for colored pencils and for markers I'm so excited I feel like a little kid again I have like markers and I'm going to get colored pencils like I wasn't allowed to have these things when I was little. Um, but, yeah, so, I don't know. You guys like these videos. I don't know why, because usually the rule on YouTube is, like, do not make a video more than five minutes. Edit it. Make it, like, jump cuts and, like, everything. But for some reason, you guys like these long ones. I think that it takes your mind off things, and that would make me so unbelievably happy. Um, I know I liked watching your guys' videos and others on here. And um, and if you guys ever are wondering um, about some other YouTubers that talk about chronic illness or have chronic illnesses but do really fun channels um, and tags and things like that, I do have a video of my favorite YouTubers. Um, which I probably will update at some point as I found other people to add to the list because um, I know it's really hard to find people and that's kind of why hi um, that's kind of why I started my channel talking so openly about this also uh, you guys asked the best questions for my question giveaway and I feel so guilty and horrible about this but I did a video on it. I actually did my makeup, did a full video answering questions. It was actually very difficult. I will never do a giveaway that way again. The next giveaway I do will be on Rafflecopter and you guys will have to do nothing but enter in Rafflecopter. Like there will be no, you don't have to do anything to enter other than go to the Rafflecopter site and click on it. Like that's it because it was so difficult and there were so many questions and I picked my favorite question and there is a winner already um, I cannot find the footage anywhere I filmed it in North Carolina before I came here um, so I don't know what to do I don't know if I should um, just announce the winner and have the giveaway be over but then I won't have answered all these guys amazing questions um or if I should do it over because I have it still open because you guys are still asking really cool questions 
So part of me is like, well, I might refilm it and answer some of these really cool questions, but I know my winner's not going to change other than if I was to order other books and I would just order them on Amazon and send them to another person that I think um, won the giveaway or whatever. So I don't know what to do with that. I just That's just one of those things that's like a mess up and a learning experience for me. But... I just, I'm like, I am, I know I have to do an end video for this project and I, I feel like I'm going to get so emotional about it because I just, but it's coming so quickly. I mean, tomorrow is, tomorrow is New Year's Eve? Yeah, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So like, I have to do the video tomorrow. Like, I don't know. It's going to be so, to talk about what this experience has meant to me what you guys have meant to me and what I'm going to do with my channel is so exciting and so emotional but so filled with love and excitement and but I'm anxious about it and it's just so many emotions and like joy and but also sadness that is coming to an end but like it's going to continue obviously I don't know it's just like very unknown to me so Definitely look for tomorrow's video. I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day today. I love you guys so much. I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I will talk to you big time tomorrow. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's Eve. If you don't watch my video until... But you guys are going to be up till midnight. So you guys are probably going to watch it. So, I don't know. I'll do it for you guys. Try to do it earlier for you guys so you can watch it. So you have something to do. But I love you guys so much, and as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!